Did countersuing Johnny Depp for defamation backfire for Amber Heard? Oftentimes, in the early stages of a lawsuit, you will make decisions that will have ripple effects further down the line. Here, Amber Heard countersued Johnny Depp for statements his attorney made to the media calling her claims of abuse a hoax, and through agency doctrine, she was now able to sue Johnny Depp for defamation. Now, counterclaims can be a very strategic move. It gives you leverage in negotiations. It creates stakes that were not probably originally there when the person filed for the lawsuit initially. Now it's like, hey, you're suing me? Nah, I'm suing you, buddy. And now you have to think about the repercussions of not just losing the lawsuit, but losing the countersuit as well. But like all lawsuits, you have to worry about the claims that you file. Here, Amber Heard filed claims for defamation and included a claim for emotional distress. And because she included that emotional distress claim, it allowed Johnny Depp's team to require Amber Heard to sit before Dr. Curry and do a psychological eval. That's why we got Dr. Curry's testimony, where she goes ahead and she paints a roadmap for how Amber Heard might view the world. Also, it allows for reputational evidence to come forth when you bring a defamation claim. We saw this with Johnny Depp having to read headline after headline about how his financial woes might tank the next Pirates movie. Well, now we also got to read headlines about how she might have stolen her essay story from her assistant, Kate James, and also reiterates the allegations of abuse towards Kate James. We also heard a little bit about Tasia Van Ray again, because there was an article out there about that. There was also the deposition of Adam Waldman, Johnny Depp's attorney, and they share a concept called attorney-client privilege, which creates a wall for information. Again, if you say anything to your attorney in the privacy of you know, speaking to your attorney, those communications are privileged. So we got a deposition where they had to invoke privilege about 20-something times. And the only other real information the jury got out of this deposition was stuff that hurt Amber Heard. We heard about an L.A. sheriff's investigation into perjury allegations. We heard about nine corrupt corroborating witnesses regarding uh, that that sheriff's investigation into her potentially perjuring herself for the TRO and mentions again that these people witnessed the events between May 21st and May 26th and these are people we've already heard support Johnny Depp's claims and lastly we heard more about exculpatory evidence that wasn't even involved in this trial and has not been before the jury the Marilyn Manson Thanksgiving video and be and that might have never been before the jury but now they might be thinking there's more information out there than this currently before them that might help Johnny Depp some more what I'm saying is you have to be careful about what you put before the jury and what your claims might be further down the line. They also could have dropped that counterclaim at any point.